message that I have obtained and released. It comes ahead of the release next month of a highly anticipated military report on what the Pentagon calls unidentified aerial phenomena. The man who posted the footage is documentary filmmaker Jeremy Corbell. He joins me now. Jeremy, good evening. The footage is incredible. And retired NASA astronaut Scott Kelly told CNN last week he thinks it's sort of an optical illusion, quote, maybe combined with some military flight tests of some, some unmanned may, un, man aerial vehicles. What do you say to that? What do you say to skeptics? No, that, that's a data poor perspective, unfortunately, and we have such a data rich environment at this time about UFOs, which are unidentified. And as you said yourself, the Pentagon has confirmed the footage that I have obtained and released. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. We have a lot to cover today. I'm going to try to get through it here from UFO videos, mystery sounds, and more. And I, I want to get this out of the way first because it's pretty much pointless and a waste of our time. But New York Times article, among many others, stating that many of the UFOs that were spoken about in the Pentagon UFO report that, if you guys remember, was released last year, you know, everyone was up in arms holding their breath for this thing to come out. And I told everyone it was going to be a big nothing burger. And of course it was when it came out, where in the like seven or eight page report, if that they talked about around 145, 144 UFO cases that had occurred with American military personnel, Air Force pilots, things like that, and how they were all unexplained, pretty much all of them. And if you've been around the last five years, you know, they slowly drip fed us these grainy infrared videos taken from the Fleer cameras on American fighter jets of something being caught on camera. And I don't know if it's just me, but are you guys sick of seeing this same five-year-old footage? You know, whether it's Go Fast or Tic Tac or, or what have you. This stuff's five years old, and I'm just tired of seeing the same thing, video or photo. And most of it has been debunked by now already. Almost all of the videos that were released through Jeremy Corbell are natural phenomena, give or take maybe one or two of the clips. And the government has been planning to do this from the beginning. I'm not going to go too far into this, but if you followed me for any extended amount of time, you know that I've been in this game for a decade on YouTube, longer where Satan dwells in. In Revelation, chapter 2, verse 13, the Bible says, I know where you you live where Satan has his throne, yet you remain true to my name. You did not renounce your faith in me, not even in the days of Antipas, my faithful witness, who was put to death in your city where Satan lives. Well, if you look up the martyr of Saint Antipas, you'll see that it was under the reign of Emperor Nero in a city that is now known as Geneva. And if you're wondering what's in Geneva, you'll find the company CERN, whose main mission is to create the God Particle, attempting to split the veil between the supernatural and natural realm, possibly opening a supernatural portal. Discussing, uh, there's a lot of discussion about what the, the new world order will be or how, even in the context of, uh, of our, our new Helsinki. Yes, welcome back. I have one question. Since you started watching videos on this channel, have you seen anything, anything like a conspiracy theory? Recently, I did some videos partaking to what happened in Davos, where I react and share my thought on what is going on. But now, Newsweek published an article calling us conspiracy theories by simply quoting their exact words. 
here at WEF, I believe we're discussing, uh, there's a lot of discussion about what the, the new world order will be or how, even in the context of, uh, of our, our new Helsinki, uh, how do we f work towards that new normative international order that allows us to address our differences and disputes as the civilized world. Billy goes straight down yeah. and you can't see the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to see that in a second. I've yeah. got some images. What, uh, what's at the bottom of that first tunnel? Well, underneath the Great Sphinx, there's a lot of tunnels. Some of them lead out for miles underneath Giza. And according to the Emerald Tablets, both claims they have even hidden a ship of some type underneath the Sphinx. There have been ground penetrating radar reports stating that about a mile down, there's a massive cavern or some kind of opening with something underneath the Sphinx. Nobody's been given access to go that deep. When you say ship, yeah. ship from the water or a ship as in a craft? Well, he calls it a ship that has the capability of battling an invader from the deep. And he's talking about deep space. Right. So I don't think it's a ship that sails it on the ocean. I think it's a spaceship of some type. He says the one that is the wisest will be able to free the ship and defeat the enemy with ease. One tunnel, Billy, goes straight down, yeah. and you can't see the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go down the bank stuff and then get 50 Gs from the hard? Impossible. Well, I've called not them. Impossible. They just said they need time. Oh, yeah, they need time because they're not carrying cash because they're fractionalized banking. But try to give them 50 grand. Oh, they do. Come back, man. We can't take this. We have people in line. I dropped a million dollars in cash off to a bank one day at 7.30 in the morning. And they're like, uh... You don't have any security? No. And I'm getting on a plane, dude. You're taking this money. This came from you. It's coming back to you. They literally had to shut the bank down. They were so, so nervous. Giving the banks money is becoming problematic. And for sure taking it. What do you think one day if the, if the banks just don't respond? Don't respond to anything. I think that's going to happen. Well, that's where you wish you had some cash or some bit coin. If it's in the bank, why don't you go down the bank stuff and get 50 Js from the hard? Impossible. Well, I've called not them. Impossible. They just said they need time. Oh, yeah, they need time because they're not carrying cash. All the rest of the vibrational spectrum is engineerable. That means it's possible to do a type of vibrational engineering with these energies. So Dr. Kareem, in asking the question, what's that energy in the center? He identified that one of the three energies is what he called the higher harmonic of gold. This is the exact same vibratory energy as what you see around the heads or the bodies of the saints in every tradition. It's not a metaphor. It's an actual vibrational force. There are ways this can be engineered and activated, and they use this all the time in the ancient world. This means that this balancing force, just like all the rest of the vibrational spectrum, is engineerable. That means it's possible to do a type of vibrational engineering with these energies. So Dr. Kirk, people that are praying have no idea how to pray. All that begging and hoping and wishing and calling on names of deities has no power. How you pray is this. You command everything you want into existence because the power and the divine spark that created everything in this universe is inside of your body. You are God and God is you. To pray, you are trying to cast a spell. You want those words to go out and manifest a change in your reality. I'm not begging and hoping and wishing. I'm not doing that because that's low frequency. You get excited and say, I command this to happen. Your frequency is going to shift into a high power, high energy frequency. That's when and only then can you truly manifest the true future that you truly desire. It's, it's cool. It's cool to get on the computer, but don't let the computer get on you. It's cool, it's cool to use the computer. Don't let the computer use you. You all saw the Matrix. There's a war going on with battlefields in the mind, and the prize is the soul. So be careful. It's not science fiction, it's a documentary.
every human, and this is a fact, every human first seven years is, uh, is download the hypnosis. The brain of a child under seven is in a lower vibrational frequency. When you put wires on a, a person's head, you read electroencephalogram, reading brain activity. A child below seven has a lower vibration than consciousness. It's called theta. Theta is imagination. Oh, that's how kids play a, a tea party with mud pies. But to them, it's a real thing. A kid rides a broom. It's a horse. It's That's theta, imagination. Theta is also hypnosis. And the idea is this. Before you can become conscious, if you don't have any programs, what are you going to be conscious of? The movie The Matrix is not science fiction. It becomes melanin. That's a fact. Now let's move forward. If that's true, full spectrum light solidified is melanin, then black people are light skin. The darker you are, the lighter you are. You see what I'm saying? Because this is light. We're light bodies. You feel what I'm saying? So this thing gets real, real tricky. And then the whole concept is to what? Trap our light body. And when we say trap our light body, the concept is to put the light inside of a prison or a prism. You feel what I'm saying? So you put the light inside of a prison, the prison becomes the prism. And then the whole thing is about draining or extracting your energy. So they put you in a cell, like a battery, a Duracell. And you probably got locked up for assault and battery, right? And then what happens? They charged you for a crime. So subconsciously, it's all about draining your energy. There's only one real consciousness that exists, and we are just the consciousness separated into trillions and trillions of entities so that they can experience themselves subjectively from different perspectives. It wants to see what it's like to be human. It wants to see what it's like to be a blade of grass or even a rock. But we're on a data collection mission, sending information back to the source. So when I tell people that they are God, some people get, get offended by that, but they don't realize what I'm saying is you have the power of the creator as above, so below. The power of creation is already inside of you, and we do it every single day. We are also co-creators in our reality as well. I'm going to treat you like I would treat myself because you are me. There's only one real consciousness that exists and we are just the consciousness separated into trillions and trillions of entities so that they can experience themselves subjectively from different perspectives. The one of reasons why people are dying suddenly is an Old Testament prophecy, a dream given to the king that Daniel had to interpret in Daniel chapter 2 43 and it's called iron mixing with miry clay it would not cleave together technocracy uh transhumanism fallen angel technology just as it was in the days of noah iron was discovered 5000 bc during the time of noah and so that same situation is happening today god said it would not cleave together that's why people are dying suddenly and they notice because the fallen have given this technology and information to wicked uh merchants and doctors of the earth and they are in using it into the human genome that's why people are dying suddenly god said it would not cleave together he said don't mix my clay the potter with your technology because the flesh is too weak to handle it that's why we're seeing what we're seeing with the sudden deaths deuces so one of the main reasons why people are dying suddenly is an Old Testament prophecy, a dream given to the king that Daniel had to interpret in Daniel chapter 2, 43, and it's called iron mixing with miry clay. It would not cleave together. Technocracy, uh, transhumanism, fallen angel technology, just as it was in the days of Noah. Iron was discovered 5,000 BC during the time of Noah. And so that same situation is happening today. God said it would not cleave together. That's why people are dying suddenly. And they notice because the fallen have given this technology and information to wicked uh, merchants and doctors of the earth, and they are infusing it into the human genome. That's why people are dying suddenly. God said it would not cleave together. He said, don't mix my clay, the potter, with your technology because the flesh is too weak to handle it. That's why we're seeing I am what not we're against seeing with a gas the gas burrito. And Deuces. let me tell you my absolute all So one of the main reasons why people are dying suddenly is an Old Testament prophecy, a dream. Gutter like nothing, and now they are super rich. Anybody familiar with that? Anybody know any celebrity that has a story that says, I started from the bottom, now I'm here? Yes? So that means right away that your environment and your conditions have nothing to do with anything. You are born looking like your parents. But when you die, you die looking like your decisions. 
and I want y'all to rest on that. Oh, anybody know an athlete that made it from the gutter like nothing, and now they are super rich? Anybody? And I mean all races have to begin to realize that we're already living in heaven. Let me say that again. We as people on this planet have to begin to realize, no matter all races, we are already living in heaven. You see, I learned a long time ago that the mission is not to die so that you can live. The real mission is to learn how to live now. Make the most of what you have now, right here. Due to the second law of thermodynamics, you will not, you will never die. You are, you are already eternal. You already are eternal. You live forever in one form or another. Because energy can't be destroyed, it can only be transformed. We know this for a fact in science. So what this means is... You are supposed to live your best life in every outcome. We have, we as people on this planet, and I mean all races, have to begin to realize that we're already living in heaven. Let me say that again. That conscious thought backed by vocalization, in other words, cymatic frequencies coming out of your throat, talking, can actually affect the physiology of water. And so if your body is made of mostly water, every time you utter a word backed by conscious thought, that now has power over water, which is in your body. So every cell is listening to everything you say, and everything you say is being remembered permanently by every single cell. Forget the mind remembering. On a cellular level, you're remembering everything, and those cells respond to those cymatic frequencies coming out of your own vocal. People on the border because you say so. It's just not the border of America. Because in this bill that you say you put people before politics, you put $410 million for border security. Egypt, Tunisia, and Oman. You will fund walls and technology to protect the Middle East, but not to protect America. And what's worse, you brag about it. And when the American public asks you about it, you tell them to shut up. You know best. You're putting their issues first. And you're too busy to go to the border to see what's happening. But I know you care about the people on the border because you say so. It's just not the border of America. Because in this bill that you say you put people before politics, you put $410 million for border security in Jordan, Lebanon, Egypt, Tunisia, and Oman. You will fund walls and technology to protect the Middle East, but not to protect America. And what's worse, you brag about it. And when the American public asks you about it, you tell them to shut up. You know best. You're putting their issues first. And you're too busy to go to the border to see what's happening. But I know you care about the people on the border because you say so. It's just not the border of America. Because in this bill that you say you put people before politics, you put $410 million for border security in Jordan, Lebanon, Egypt, Tunisia, and Oman. You will fund walls and technology to protect the Middle East, but not to protect America. And what's worse, you brag about it. And when the American public asks you about it, you tell them to shut up. You know best. You're putting their issues first. And you're too busy to go to the border to see what's happening. But I know you care about the people on the border because you say so. It's just not the border of America. Because in this bill that you say you put people before politics, you put $410 million for border security. In Jordan, Lebanon, Egypt, Tunisia, and Oman. You will fund walls and technology to protect the Middle East, but not to protect America. And what's worse, you brag about it. And when the American public asks you about it, you tell
tell them to shut up. You know best. You're putting their issues first. And you're too busy to go to the border to see what's happening.
the U.S. has promised to bring in Abrams tanks. They, uh, Poland said they were going to bring some in, but who's rushing these tanks in is Germany and uh, other munitions, but the entire world is participating in the uh, munitions, but the heavy tanks are coming in out of Germany. And the German politicians today realize what was going on. It says serious development with the big wolf of German politics complaining. And let me say this. I think what we are seeing are the wolves turning on themselves the way that demons do. In a brief statement, former SPD Schroeder government minister and former uh, Dialink leader Oscar Lafontaine warns of tank deliveries and further escalation of the conflict in Ukraine. Like I said, they're pushing in their, is it uh, Panzer tanks? I can't remember, guys, exactly which one it is. They have